Michelle press Michelle hired another person approach another person it's George Hackenbotham George Hackenbotham is what that time was actually working for DOJ and his position I remember was a senior congressional affair officer okay and he was trained as a lawyer as well okay so you go figure so so they put it together a team so they kind of uh, brainstorming and say okay in order to uh, extradite Miles school back to China who can they tap the shoulder on because they only three people cannot achieve this okay so they identify two more people that is very very powerful which is oops sorry um, which is uh, right here on this uh, slide which is including Elia Brody. So many of you probably don't know who um, Elia Brody is. Elia Brody at that time was uh, the uh, fundraising uh, deputy of um, of the finance chair of the RNC. Okay, so Republican uh, nomination committee, which is a fundraising uh, committee for uh, Trump. So he basically he and his wife. His wife has a law firm. So his wife channeled through a lot of fake contracts. Uh, serve as a conduit for the money that paid received from the CCP from Jolo. Okay, so there's a lot of details, but I'm trying to make a story short. So and Ella Brody um, alone cannot do this. So they tapped another person who is Stephen Wen. Stephen Wen is the um, casino magnate who happened to have a three casinos in Macau. Okay, so all this comes together. We are talking about Macau. We talk about triads. We talk about money launder here. Um, so Eloy Brody tapped into Stephen Wynn. Stephen Wynn is a billionaire funder of Wynn Resorts in Las Vegas, right? If you've been to Las Vegas, you know those are beautiful hotels and casinos. And he's he is the owner, and he has a direct contact with a Trump. President Trump and he's very personal good personal friend with Trump so now they feel they're ready okay so they have enough kind of a weight of the the political influence so they said okay we can now influence Trump to basically deport Miles Wall back to China 